Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And tonight we're going to be playing two plus two. Two in the main show mm -hmm. and two in the after dark oh. show. Yes. Okay. So welcome back. Uh, it's still hot here. Uh, hot, but not as insanely hot as yeah. it was last week. Which not was record, record breaking people killing yeah fire fire starting hot. fire starting yeah. hot it was in the 40s here in vancouver and in the high 40s in the interior a couple hours away the hottest spot in at least canada it, it was it broke insane the highest records for ever in canada yeah for heat yeah it was very very hot yes so that's <laughs> why we didn't do the show because there's lights there's equipment and no and, air conditioning <laughs> and no air conditioning <clears throat> so, right now it's 26 yeah in the no, room that's, it's fine that's which is fine yeah. i thought you know if it's around 25 we can bring the show back yeah it's but fun. we had to we had to miss a week and yeah it sucks but uh yeah it's okay we're back yay, yay. so today yay. we're going to be playing uh two games for the regular show mm -hmm. First one is my chick was kidnapped by aliens. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, another game, actually a collection of games, collection of four games mm -hmm. called Press Fire. And that's why we only have two games because one of them is actually four games. Oh, cool. Uh, and that, that one's by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. And then in the After Dark, we'll be playing for high scores. We'll be playing mm -hmm. Zookeeper, which is always fun champ by champ games mm -hmm. and we'll be playing a dog gone it by arm scar coder mm -hmm. and uh arm scar coder is in the chat excellent and i van sill games is the person who made the first game my chick was kidnapped by aliens nice it's ivan ivan uh zerless awesome. um so if you have questions about his game he's here to answer them wonderful um and it's pretty cool game yeah it's got some cool mechanics nice. and that's why i wanted to play it today mm. uh i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who help support the show you can see them down beside tanya there over on the side mm -hmm. eight bit swami alna fur arms car coder atari age buck owens canadian tenor catalogs charles whelan coconut 81 dno dan abc drexel great offender gretam's ground troop or your rapper 2600 jedekai actually i'll take off the desktop audio because i won't be able to hear it if i don't uh coconut 81 dno dan if you see drexel great offender gretams ground trooper your rapper jedekai johnny wc1 your auto carl g marks basic mike soul miss command mk smith mr zarno mr fix nathan strum pack rap vg Kohog, rc70 rendered ghost repentless vg cardo pim six sweet smitty b socrates spartan 581 spiceware s ramirez a d train welshman tiki dan k trek md and you can get your name there if you subscribe mm -hmm. and it's free if you mm -hmm. have amazon prime just link them up and click subscribe and you get your name there and it flashes on the screen if you do it during a show yeah. which a lot of people like to do mm -hmm. um and uh ivan sill games uh, says first time chatter from viewer wonderful that's awesome yeah um always like new people to watch the show and uh i think it was feedex uh followed as well oh jury just Jury recently? just as you were oh, flipping five minutes ago yeah feedex nice. sounds like fedex but it's elongated <laughs> a cardboard box is Hello. back welcome back yeah we have 837 followers we almost have a thousand on youtube that's crazy it's that close. on youtube how close are we 11 away 11 away from a thousand i think a 10 12 or 11 so if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel which is zero page homebrew mm -hmm. make sure you do and put us over the edge to a thousand yeah Woo and then uh <laughs> and then we can say we have a thousand yeah <laughs> um so make sure you follow us on are all there any things. fancy things that happen when you hit a thousand there actually is there are we don't get a plaque we don't even get a piece of paper saying <laughs> you hit a thousand you know those million dollar oh yeah no not no, no, million no, no, dollar no, million million, <laughs> million dollar million yeah that'd be nice follower yeah you get one at a hundred thousand wow and really? a million yeah. wow okay that's uh, a lot that's a lot yeah so we only need a hundred times more not a big yeah. deal yeah uh we're already over the edge right no I, I don't think so unless a bunch of people just signed up very very recently let me check let me if, check if everyone jumped sure. on board like like in the like last 10 seconds yeah. yeah uh 988 so we have 12, 12 12 12 more to go all right um so no we're not there yet yeah um so yeah follow us on instagram twitter youtube facebook all those things uh we do have a poll 
today. And it is, and I figured out how to actually put it in the chat. Oh, good. Because they, they changed their the way they did it. Like how it's coded? How it's coded, uh, and they erased it the last time we did it, but now they brought the posting uh, back. So the poll <laughs> is... How much homebrew versus classic 2600 games do you play? Because mm. there's the original 2600 games that were released during the run. Mm. And then there's a show which we play all the homebrew on. Yeah. Um, so do you play exclusively 2600 to homebrew? Unlikely. But maybe you do. Maybe you just don't play the old stuff. You just mm. love the new stuff. Uh, the number two, mostly 2600 homebrew. That would be me. I would say 99%. 95 to 99% given on any given day uh because we do go back and play games um we, we play for both. high scores yeah. and stuff and yeah. for patches mostly yeah um number three half and half 2600 homebrew classic so about even yeah uh and then number four mostly classic 2600 mm. and five exclusively classic 2600 nice. so you just come on the show and you just watch the show but never play any of the games we <laughs> play you refuse to play them yeah but you like watching them, so I yeah. I fully expect five to be zero because yeah, it's and probably also not one all, to be zero. One in five, the extremes probably not. Everyone's no. going to be somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what that breaks yeah. down to. Yeah, how much people actually play. So uh, yeah, we were off last week. Mm. Um, the temperatures here hit forty-two. I would say it was over 41, 40. 42. Yeah, it was over forty Celsius. Celsius. Fahrenheit would be like, wow, that's cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're up in Canada. Yeah. 40 Fahrenheit. Uh, that's as high as we go. No. Uh, Four, it, w it was insane. In the hundreds. It was, right? it was insane. Yeah. Um, and uh, in the hottest was a town uh, a couple hours away. Oh, Lytton. Lytton, BC. We're in BC, Canada. Uh, yeah. We're in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Yeah. And they got to 49 point and then, something. Uh, for, oh. They beat the canadian record for three days in a row yeah. increasing it every day and then the town burned down like literally like 90 percent of all the houses and all the stores yeah. it all they burned down a, to they the had ground a fire and it went really quickly so imagine sweating it out for three days the hottest place in canada and then your whole town burns that's down. that's insane and they all had to go to all the different towns around them yeah it's really really yeah it yeah. lit up uh, bad yeah. pun but yeah <laughs> uh yeah, it's, it's absolutely terrible. And yeah. um, also in BC, hundreds of people died because we don't have air conditioning here. Yeah. <laughs> it was 40% of people have air conditioning in BC and Vancouver. Something like that, yeah. Um, because the temperatures here ra range from about 5 degrees to 25 yeah. in a normal year. Yeah. And so you don't need central air for heating up your house and yeah. you don't need air conditioning for cooling it down. So people were unprepared, just like nobody has snow tires here. <laughs> Well, because some, it snows for three days. Yeah, some do. Some, <laughs> some do. do. It depends on where you are, but yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have made the bun if I would have finished. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. Oh, bad timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, man. What the hell? Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, mostly the elderly who were immobile died. Like hundreds, hundreds of people died. It was here. 700 people in the province. Yeah, 700 people. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's insane. That's yeah. crazy. It's sad. It's very sad, but yeah. also very scary because they are saying, you know, moving forward, we are going to see more. Worse. You're going to see more like this. Yeah. The same um, or worse. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so not, a great week. <laughs> not a great week. Not a great <laughs> week for week. the West coast of, uh, us and Canada. And Canada yeah. Cause it was a whole West coast. I think, I think it's shift. It's shifted away. I don't think it's quite as hot now down no. South, but it's sort of shifted it's up and, and now it's moving East. Alberta. But. Um, They've had really Saskatchewan, hot. Manitoba, yeah. it's moving east of east Canada. Yeah. I don't know about the U.S. Probably I the, don't know. Yeah. Probably the northern states in the U.S. I, yeah. Washington was as bad as us, right? Yeah. So but anyway, really it has passed. We're in the mid to low 20s. Now, yeah. Which, which is, is totally, totally normal. Yeah. yeah. Totally normal. Yeah. Totally tolerable. Yeah. Um, uh, better news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that, uh, oh, where's... Where are all my screens? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just, um, that Albert right has been able to uh, ship out almost all the games mm. uh, to everyone that have ordered the new games. So he sent out uh, 301 packages over the Ooh. long holiday weekend. Wow. Uh, so he posted this just recently, a couple hours ago. Nice. So that's all he's got left. 
Wow. That and that, those two. Um, so there, there are some left, but that whole table was filled all the way. Oh, wow. Um, so he's got, oh, he's got some more there too as well to send. Uh, mostly Jaguar games here, mm. it looks like. And 2600, 2600. Uh, there's his whole front room packed wow. full. Wow. Those are two different oh, pictures. I see, some, I see some arcade cabinets in the back there. Oh, he does have some arcade cabinets. <laughs> what is what that? What is it? What are, let's see. What are uh, all his arcades? Anybody can identify this top <laughs> one? It looks very familiar. It's, it's like Asteroids, is it? Tempest. Is it? Oh, oh. Of course, that's a amazing game. Nice. Okay, if you're going to get any game in an arcade yeah, cabinet, a Tempest, Tempest game would, would be, be awesome. the one. Yeah. Um, very nice. And here is one of his cars packed full oh my goodness absolutely full there's another one of his cars <laughs> and get like, there you can see look at that it's in the in the passenger full. seat <laughs> oh my god that's dangerous. so he literally packed both cars and then probably drove one at a time to yeah drop no kidding or him and his wife maybe um yeah very full and and he filled all those three crates at the um at the shippers at the, the he goes USP, to. U, what is usps it? usps yeah um yeah so these bins only have Atari age packages in them. So there's going to be a lot of very happy people mm -hmm. very soon. Um, any other news here? Yeah. Oh, and he's ran out of bubble wrap. <laughs> Not at run out. He didn't run out of bubble wrap, actually. It all deflated from the heat. He kept oh, it in the attic. Oh, no. Yeah. So it went all soft went and all the air soft. escaped. <laughs> so it was pretty much just plastic oh, at that point. No. Yeah. Uh, my friend had a stand-up and two tables of Tempest. He was obsessed mm. with it. Well, Tempest is so, so cool. Vector-based arcade games just look awesome. Vector-based anything. Yeah. I mean, that's why the Vectrex, Vectrex is so awesome. Vectrex is so cool. Yeah. Star Wars arcade, super awesome. Yeah. I mean, those are like the pinnacles. Tempest and Star Wars yeah. arcade. Um, yeah. Uh, hot here in Illinois, Dan says. Mm. Um, so, uh... That's all the news I really have. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get into the first game. Uh, my chick was kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> by uh, how it, with the accent. It? It's probably not Ivan. It's Ivan. I V A with an accent Ivan? to the right. Ivan? I, I, you're asking me and I. <laughs> Ivan? I know. We'll call you Ivan. <laughs> we'll, we'll anglicize it and just call you Ivan. Uh, yeah. For now. Until we're correct. Zerless. Yeah. Um, so this game was first posted in March 13. Uh, 2021 but it was posted on his website um, and he hadn't announced it in the Atari age forums mm. and he's like oh you discovered my game because <laughs> <laughs> I I found out I don't I don't even know how I found out about it um, I don't know maybe somebody posted it somewhere um, but then I added it to the 2600 list because I keep an ongoing list of uh, yeah. games released yeah. and uh, and I put in the show as well and he's also uh, working on mortal kombat 2600 that, that looks pretty good as well uh this build is from uh yesterday um because i got in contact with him oh, actually he contacted me after he saw that i was listing it and then he did some updates and then i said hey your game actually you can't reset your game after <laughs> dying and you have to actually physically turn it off and turn it back on and reload it oh yeah so i said can you please add it in and he did and he added a, re a reset <laughs> Not a reset on the button, is, but like is... a reset. Oh, I uh, see. Just a reset. You have to l literally reload the game. The entire game. The yeah. entire game. Yeah. And that's fine when it's on cartridge, but we have navigate through menus yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's but good. this game has a very cool mechanic. Mm. It works with portals. Like like in the game Portal. You shoot oh. a portal at a wall and a portal at another <gasps> wall, and you go through the portal to solve a problem problems with enemies and oh. getting through passages you can't get through cool so i was thought i thought this is amazing yeah. i have to put this on the show nice um so, i'm excited already you almost kicked the cat there i did <laughs> poor, not poor pixel no, he did wake he up he jumped up oh you can see him at the bottom of the screen on the cat cam oh you want to disturb you yeah oh. little fluffy black and white cat there you go thank you there you go uh, thank you for making it rendered ghost. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, that's not my... Okay. <laughs> this is not my remote mm. that has batteries in it. But this is my story. remote that has batteries in it. This remote is awesome. 
This is so awesome, and they've discontinued it. A long time they've ago. They've actually improved it a long time ago. Anyway, I'm going to switch over, and I'll talk about it. Because... <laughs> <laughs> It has a story. Has why a story. Why there's now another remote there. Okay, so go to today's date, 0706. Um, this remote is made by Logitech, and you can program, like, you press a button, and it does multiple things, turns on your TV, sets it to the right channel, turns on the amp, does blah, blah. You can yeah. set multiple things up. A lot of people use that. Do you want me to hit the button? Yep, go for it. Okay. Um, and they discontinued it, and then they put out ones that you can only have six devices on it. And yeah. it's like, and they charge more money for it. So what I did is, we have four of these in the house now. <laughs> two spares and two active ones. One for here and one for upstairs. Yeah. Um, so we're walking to a restaurant the other day. And, <laughs> yes. you know, people put stuff out and they put yeah. free. Yeah. And, and I just, you know, you glance in there and usually yeah. it's like. Yeah. Uh, You're like. Video whatever. games? Yeah, video games? Video anything? Games, anything? Media? Yeah, media. And there's this sitting there. <laughs> it was like like the exact model yeah. that I buy over and over again. Yeah. And I was like, yoink. <laughs> I'll take that. Because these are sought after, right? They're, well, you can't find sought. them anymore. You can only find them like this. You can so. only find the limited ones. I think the thing is, is they things. came up with a new version, but it has like... Oh, it has graphics. It and has color like a screen built into it, and it's and, and to buy it, they're way more expensive. The new ones because they have this crazy color screen. They limit the number of devices devices you can attach or connect to Terrible. and turn on and off. And this is unlimited. It's this unlimited. One. This is the last one. Yeah. That had unlimited. Unlimited. So Darcy has that remote too. <laughs> yeah. He has the exact same model as yeah. well. Yeah. I think he was the one that told me about it. I don't know. Yeah. And it, okay. Yeah. On with the game. Okay. You have to tell me how to play. <laughs> um, so this is a 4K game. Um, and you can download it from the uh, uh, developer's website. Mm -hmm. So it actually has a little tiny intro. If you press the button. You got kidnapped. And then you run into the tree or something. Into the Lego. Into the tree. Um, okay. Into the portal. Into the portal. Yeah. Gotcha. So press the button and you'll go to the first screen. So you're the yellow guy there, and you move around. There's the enemies. Okay. And the button is to shoot the portals. You have to move and shoot. There's one portal. Okay. And then you set set the second portal somewhere else. Oh, I see. And, uh, and you move and shoot to set where you want the second portal. It can be above, below, left. It can stick to any wall. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mm. So you have to think about where you're putting it where you're going where you're going to end up and just a warning enemies can go through portals portals as well oh but that's probably a good thing it's a good thing and a bad thing so you have to be very cle clever about and oh, one more thing you can past. get stuck in walls okay you, like if you're not too careful like if you put your foot in a wall oh. uh, i'd move out of the way oh there you go Jeez, that's not what i meant to do i didn't mean to go through it well you fired down and then you kept going down oh right? okay yeah, so you have to be a little careful. Uh, when my mom's favorite pencil sharpener for colored pencils was discontinued, she had me buy a batch of five of them ah, off ah. eBay for her. They lasted her for years. It's a very smart thing to do. Don't run into uh, walls. Stuck. Nope, you can use portals to get out of it. Uh -huh. ah. No, you automatically go through the portal. No, you don't. You yes. Because you were on the portal. See how close it is to the wall? But I, I was going to the right. Are, we're touching it as soon as you laid the second one. So if you put a portal to the right and put a portal above you, you'll immediately go through it because you're touching it already. I didn't go through it. And then you press the button to get rid of it, which you must have double pressed or something. There you go. You get the idea. I do. It's, it's a little... Uh... Ah! How did he get there? And why am I not moving? Because <laughs> you're stuck in the wall. How did he get there? Uh, the enemies do move as you move through the maze as oh. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of traverse the maze a little carefully oh, sometimes. I'm stuck. <laughs> Remember, you can retract them. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh, gosh. No! <laughs> I would put it somewhere else. <laughs> I'm stuck the, in the maybe wall. Maybe to the right. Oh, there you go. Now you're not stuck. 
I just don't run into walls too much. There's a chance of getting stuck. I, I suggested he put that in the manual as like, watch out, the alien walls are sticky sometimes and they grab you. Oh, this is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Clipping through walls? Serious speedrun strats here. Yes. Oh, God, I'm and, stuck again. And you can also zap enemies outside of the maze if you're careful, if you're clever about it. I would get rid of those things. There you go. This is very uh, challenging. So this is the game Prey for the 2600. Nice. Or at least when I think of a, of a girlfriend taken by aliens and then portals, Prey comes to mind. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you can zap the alien. Oh, there you go. You made it. Get out of the way. So this is level <laughs> two, right? <laughs> yeah. So the color of the maze dictates, shows you how damaged you are. Oh, does it? Okay, yes. that's good to know. I mean, he uh, he could have changed it to like the person, I guess, um, but he did. But it's not. Uh, Ivan says sorry about the sticky walls. <laughs> the laughing That's face. That's okay. That's okay. Now you could zap this guy somewhere else, or you can zap yourself somewhere else. Dtrain says, "I just got here. What did I miss?" <laughs> uh, we're on our first game, so you didn't miss too much. She's on the first level oh, still, on. or second level of the game. So you missed the first level of the game. No. Oh, you're not stuck, and now you are again. There you go. <laughs> hey there, D-Train. Apparently your caps lock key is stuck. <laughs> it's important to live your life all in caps. <gasps> Using software collision detection is one way to avoid the wow. issue with the player getting stuck in walls. Yes, true. They do kind of respawn in different places, so. Okay, your job is to reset. Oh. If I am playing. Here? Yep. Oh. Oops, I like that. I like the intro. Yes, it's very cute. I mean, 4K <laughs> games don't have a lot of room, so it's pretty good mm. to have one that has... Um, I do like this whole portal thing, though. It's very cute. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Bye-bye. I did play it a bit. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> ah! Ah, terrible color. Start brown. <laughs> Still visible. Boop. Bye bye. Oh. Oh. He he jumps back. Oh. You have to run away. Ah. That <laughs> one's really hard to avoid. It is hard getting to avoid. hit at all. Yeah, there are definitely a few points like that. Yep. Dark maze just for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine too. I love dark mazes. They're fun. <laughs> it's not completely dark, so you can run. A, you bad. can run past him. That's true. But he does respawn uh, at the far right wall. Yes, you have to kind of be careful of that. Really fast. So I can put that anywhere. Yeah. And that should. Ooh, that's, oh, that's that's not a good. <laughs> I don't think that's a nice. good spot. Uh, um, oh, because you can't go too far back because it... He, he jumps backwards. Eh, that one's not good either. Maybe I should put it at the At bottom. the top, maybe? Like at the top? Of here? Uh, uh, go up and around? No. Go up and around. Go over. One. Put it at the top there. Oh. Maybe you can trap him. Maybe, yeah. Uh. He's going to... That one's so close. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh. This one's actually. Ah, ah, ah. Run away, you're stuck in the wall. Oh, oh no. no. Sticky level, walls. Level three. <laughs> to me, the best way to pass through the fast enemy is using the, the portals on the enemy. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's very interesting mechanics. I tried it yesterday. Didn't understand what was going on. Don't 
get trapped in the wall. You're, you're going too close to that wall. Make me nervous. did it yeah I love the me oh, I do it every time I love the mechanics of the portals there was another game that uh, used portals as well that we played on the show it's like 3d portal something something we played a long time ago ah, I'm stuck well zap yourself out of there quick I can't. down 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 yeah. Yeah, you put one down because you're touching down. No, but I put, put it to one the to right. The left. Ugh. Yeah, you put it to the right and there's no room. You just zap yourself. I didn't realize exactly. I was stuck down. I thought I was stuck to the right. Oh. That's you get okay. to go again. Yeah, well, that was not very good. <laughs> um, su oh, it was called Super Portals 3D. Um, it was a lot more complicated of a control mechanic because you could jump in the other game. You have to move and shoot. I am. Oh, yeah, I encountered this bug as well. Can you reset? Um, where the dot kind of... You can get out of it if you can start you? shooting things. And... I'll reset that. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Press a button. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you made it to the second level. <laughs> That was very strange. I'm still, oh, still not can't. shooting. I'm still not shooting. That's weird. Nope. Nope. Uh, reboot. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit of a bug. That's okay. That's all good. It is very cool. Yep. <laughs> what was that I even said? Judge, judge, judge. I have no idea. Like... It reset the screen, yeah. like, like the play field, but it didn't reset the game. That was super weird. <laughs> um, the other one, you could jump in, like it was a platformer. This one's more like um, a top-down view, or three-quarter view. There you go. Oh yeah, that's what I keep forgetting to do. You have to, if you get the enemy through the portal, you can close the portal by pressing the button when he's when he's on the other side, and then you have a uh, a passageway through. That's what I keep forgetting. Nostalgic says, "Guessing some RAM was cleared upon reset, but not all of it. So the game got confused about what state it was in." Yes. So I don't know what the best tactic for this would be. Oh, I meant to hit down. Ah, uh, now I'm stuck. Well, you're not in a bad uh. position. You just shoot down and shoot left. Uh, that's not super safe there. Uh. Press the button. There you go. Uh. Uh, I can't go across and down because I'm hitting it. I have to. You have to leave yourself a fair amount of space. Oh. Like I have to go up here. Right. And then move over, down, shoot. Right. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. There you that go. works. That does work. Well, Put the enemy in the sticky wall. <laughs> <laughs> Can you shoot on a diagonal? Not that I know of, no. I think it's just up, down, left, right. The other game, uh, you... It kind of... It, it was more of a puzzle. Ooh, good one. It was more of a strict puzzle and no action game, I think. You were just trying to get different places in the maze to get to the final mm. place, and there was no enemies, I don't think. Um, so you would kind of stop yourself, and then you would aim. You could move around the screen to say where you want the first portal and where you want the second portal. And you move a little dot, and it would place it. This one is like you are directly shooting it. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one's very sensitive. You can't sensitive. go backwards. No, you move back a, a tiny bit, and the guy's gone. Oh, he pressed it at the right time. He's stuck there. 
What is what is what is this craziness? He's gonna come get ya. Oh. Oh. Okay. That kills him. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. But that may not save you all the time. Ah. Don't need to panic if that thing kills it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's oh. not good. Have to shoot ah. the portal to the right. I'm and... trying to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that my didn't turn. Go well. on a diagonal not that i've noticed i think it's just oh. left and right up down right yeah no diagonal no diagonal no <laughs> i can't remember i don't know if i made it past the level that you were you died on mm. no you i think you did, did I? or you did pretty well on that level i think it was the next one oh really <laughs> what the hell i trapped him there and then went for it and then he repaired the rom i'm playing is not the same it has a blue player and less obstacle or more obstacles oh, on the screen he has updated it since Ugh. like this is from yesterday Ugh. um um what do i want to do here down left one or the other there you go hmm. he, he oh disappears. yeah that's fine yeah. oh yeah he disappears because there's like zones yeah where he kind of response in certain yeah. spots and then there this one's super touchy i guess you want to set up the first one first uh, yeah you're gonna get hit at least once yep and don't move back ah there you go oh why did you do that ah, uh. that's yes you have to do that before he gets too close oh what what, what? there you go run oh no <laughs> Run back! Run back! Up! He went through it too! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I, we haven't seen this one. Oh, um, put him, put him, oh I can just... Can get him do? killed at the dot. Ooh. Can't you? No? Yes? E Ooh, that'd be, that'd be tough. What do I do here? Use the ball to kill the enemy. Mm -hmm. Oh, the good ball hurts me too. Hmm? So if I put it there... No, why would you put it there? Put it, put it. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. Oh, very good. Now I get the ball back, I guess, because I can't get through here. No, turn, shoot right. Go down to the bottom and shoot oh, right. Oh, yes. Thank you. And then Ugh. there, and you're stuck. Oh, that works. Okay, where's the next enemy coming? Ah, ha, ha, run away, run away. Ah, ha, ha. Run away. Da, da, da. I think I finished the game. <gasps> so he is planning to add uh, 20 screens eventually yeah. to this. So you have to do Huzzah. it. Huzzah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Marina Foot. So, yay. Hey. I don't think there's no sound in this, actually, is there? No. no. Nice, beat the game. Woohoo, good game. Ga one, game over. Yes, I believe so. So it's four, five levels? Five. Uh, Very cool. Four, I like five, it. Yep. I like the concept. So I need to he get said, used to "Thanks it, for but... picking up my game. I'm new in the world of retro development. Nice. This is why I had this a bit hidden. Your word, words encourage me to continue with this project because nice. I've got in mind to make a version of the game with at least twenty levels. Nice, nice. Very, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, so this is. I love the mechanics. Yeah, I love the, of portal. the portals. I like. I like that idea a lot. And as far as I know, there's only one other game that's ever used portals. And it wasn't really finished, the other game. It wasn't either. like a kind of proof of concept of Portal. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't quite finished. Yeah. Um, but this one, um, this one's very full featured. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Early version of the I game. Like, I like having the projectile and you have the, the floaty enemy. guys and the bouncing enemies and yep. the ones that kind of spawn in different different spots. If you can fix um, getting the, stuck in walls, yeah, I that's, think that's, that's the a big little barrier. frustrating, I think. But yeah, yeah. rather um, than it just stopping you. 
Yeah, it needs yeah. to bounce off the wall. It needs to bounce, right. Rather yeah. than stay in the wall and go, yeah. oh, you can't move because you're hitting yeah. a wall. You're hitting, yeah. But you're actually, your foot is in the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. Awesome. There's the link for anybody who wants to download the newest version that we are playing right now. Early access games, lol. <laughs> um, okay, so the next game we're going to be playing. Uh, um, thank you, Ivan, for um, yeah. making this game super awesome. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming into the chat as well. Yeah. Um, is going to be uh, Press Fire. But we're going to take a look at how the voting is going. Oh, yes. How is the voting going? So, mostly 2600 homebrew, which makes sense. Mm. You know, this is the homebrew crowd. <laughs> uh, at 46.7, so almost half of okay. people. They're really uh, into the homebrew. Play the I homebrew. mean, they've Not played surprising. the classic games. They know the classic games. Yeah, so They're it's, looking it's like, for what are you games. playing now? Yeah. So they've played a lot of the yeah, classic I'm games. I'm sure. And then in second place was half and half 2600 homebrew classic. Mm. And then for, in fourth place with 18 per 18? 18%. It's very small. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly classic 2600. So it's about what I would have predicted. Mm -hmm. Mostly homebrew. Um, so the next game is Press Fire by Chris Reed, the very prolific Atari 2600 land. Mm -hmm. It makes tons and tons and tons of 4K, 2K, and 8K games. Nice. Um, this one is called Press Fire One Button Collection. Um, and it has four games in it. Oh, thank you, Pack Refugee, for subscribing! Resubscribing! How many? 16 months! 16 months! Oh my god. That's insanity. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of months. We've been, well, okay. you in particular have been doing this for a very long time now, yes. so. Three and a half years. Three and a half years! Yeah, long time. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's four games. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start with the first one. Okay. Uh, stacking. The other one's Bomber Pilot, and then Is Yum, and, and then right Runny Nose. To pick or... I think it's the he he should have made left and right. But it's on the console, or exactly. Just just <laughs> curious. Oh, you press the button to start it. Yeah. Oh, to start. Yeah. What am I doing? Um, so there have been other games like this, but he made a collection of just. Games where you press, don't press the button yet. Now you're dying. But I don't know what I'm doing. I know. I'll explain. You. Press <laughs> button. Press button. Okay. Okay. You can press bunny button anywhere right now. Okay. So do it. Anywhere. And then you have to press the button again when it's lined up. Oh. At first it's very tedious because it's slow, but. Um, okay. Yeah. We played games like this before. Yeah. A couple of months longer than my books. You know, doing it for a while. Um, so, this is an 8K game. He said, After reading a certain thread, I thought of three ideas of a game where you can use one button and nothing else. I thought, why not try to make them? And I'll put them all out in one collection. So this is what I'm doing. I have the first one here called Stack King, which I bet you can guess what you do here. I tried to implement some changes from the original game. You only have one block width, and it goes from left to right, to stack it... You need to press the button when the block is moving left or right over and over again is on top of the previous box. The change I made is when you start on a new level, you can put the box anywhere. My highest score was 20-something. Let me know what you think if I should ah, keep on going. Nine. <laughs> uh, that's not 20. Nope. By the way, I did with this with BB instead of assembly because of one of the game ideas involved scrolling. Press it at any time. I know. Is it? I'm, I'm like, doing it you... purposefully. Really? Yeah. I would have thought the middle's easier because on the right, I guess, maybe not. Maybe you're like, as soon as it makes it over, it's a little bit quieter. But... Yes, I don't know if there's any strategy to this whatsoever, but. Get some more volume here. This does help in this game. It's hot. Still 26.5. So we haven't got. <laughs> nope, turn. that didn't help me at all. <laughs> Double press? What? Yeah, watch this. Oh, you can go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but you have to be. Yeah, no. There. <laughs> Get a. Oh, I don't want to be there actually. Ah, uh, well, you're there now. You might. You, you might. Actually, you. If you're fast enough, you can do a double press on each one. Mm. Probably not anymore. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not where I wanted to be. There you go. <laughs> yeah, two. Because it gets dangerous. I think on the computer, I got like four. Four in a row? Yeah. But it, I don't know, it was more responsive or something. doing one now. <laughs> yeah, when it gets faster. I wonder what happens after you go up the screen. Okay, it can it just clears and then and um, you start over at the same speed that you left that off. Makes sense. It's less tedious now. Harder but less tedious. Is it actually getting faster? It's not. Oh yeah. No, it's not. No, it's maxed. It's not getting faster. Oh, well then I can play forever. So no, I make a mistake. It's, it's continuous now. Well, you need to make it faster yeah, then. It continues fast, yeah. I'll just clear the screen and then you can play again. So you want to clear one screen, basically. Yeah, it's not speeding up. Oh, 34. <laughs> I had to quit. <laughs> nice concept would definitely be addicting. Yeah, we played ones where it starts off wide and you have to match up the width. If yeah, you, that is hard. And then if you mismatch, oh my gosh. If you mismatch, it only keeps the width of that and then it gets smaller as you miss and it gets faster. 34J. Thank you very much. Very good. Ooh, Ooh! Did you do three? Oh, yep. Oh. I better finish my sandwich ah before you. Say it. I'm trying to do as many as I can. After a certain point, it's too dangerous. Too dangerous. Oh, <laughs> I'm just. Oh. <laughs> Come on. This is too much fun. <laughs> just one. too soon stop it too soon oh i'm gonna read out what um the last game because i didn't read it out this is a demo I'm ga of a game i'm developing for the atari 2600 it consists of a cinematic introduction uh, introducing the plot in the first four levels the game title my chick was kidnapped by aliens is sort of a parody to the boomer movies of the console era <laughs> the game has the limitation of being developed in 4K, so some bugs could not be solved by the cost and space that this would mean. So I chose to take advantage of those bugs as game mechanics. As for example, the case of some enemies can be trapped between the stage walls when we force them to pass through the portals so that our character can continue on that path to the exit. And sometimes the alien walls can also grab you, so be careful to use your portable portals to get unstuck. Have fun. This is Play properly. Me out. <laughs> No! Make me! <laughs> well, I eclipsed your score. How about I don't that? care about that. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so tense. Okay. I'm like... <laughs> okay, one more time. Play properly. I'm going to no. switch the games. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're the one who, who put the idea in my head. <laughs> That's just smack it. You see the melty cats, everyone? Look at this melty <sighs> Melty. Hi. You're so melty, aren't you? Melty. <sighs> melty it's hard. Pixel. I can't get past nine. <sighs> By doing doubles. Done? Yeah, if you want. Okay. Oh. Good morning, Andrew Davis. Okay. This one is Bomber Pilot. Okay. It's Game number two. I worked some more on this, and I have the beginnings of a bomber pilot game. Basically, a port of an Odyssey 2 game that uses only the fire button. In case you're unfamiliar with, the, with it, the object of the game is to clear the blocks by using missiles to shoot them away. If the helicopter crashes into one of them, the game ends. The helicopter moves downward with a little with each pass by of the boxes. So, go for it. It's very self-explanatory. Read while you were talking. 
Do you think the double triple clicks is a fun feature or possible cheat? I think, I think it's a fun. challenge. It, it's, it's, it's almost impossible after a couple go, goes because well, it, it goes too fast. It maxes out on speed in the second screen, so it's just kind of fun to try. Uh oh, Pixel's paying attention. Pixel. Pixel, you can see him. Uh, the color scheme is very interesting to cats, just so you know. Oh, apparently. Um, At least to Pixels. Uh, what was I going to say? You said this was Atari Land. Atari 2600 Land, right? Yes. Yes. Atari uh, it, 2600 Land. Uh, Kathy Man 2D was asking. Yeah. It, it does need to not max out. It needs to get faster. Because once... Yeah. I, I could continue forever. Oh, yeah. On, if you get on the... the if you get on the... In the groove of it. Yeah. Clear the box using the missiles. Is getting is faster. the score font supposed to look like that? I think yeah, so. The it's eight a crazy is font. crazy. I love the eights. The two, yeah, they're all Five's good, they're all six very, is, they're all crazy. different. I like the eight. They're almost like different fonts. They, like, they do look like all different fonts. Uh oh, last one. I'm getting lower now. This is getting harder. Oh, it's automatic. Well, that would help. Oh, oh, oh no! 137. Crazy eights. <laughs> it says auto fire, by the way. So at first, it's good to hold it down, but once it gets sparse, it's better to be more precise. I've just left the button pressed and completed three screens. Oh, Fotoko's playing along at home. <laughs> oh, you're gonna die. Fotoko, you led me astray. Well, <laughs> he pressed all the way. Yeah, true, true. So let's try that out. <laughs> Got a couple more rows. Oh, didn't Matt, didn't hit. Oh, didn't hit there either. We're in trouble. It's gonna. Oh no. Mm -mm. no. It seems to continuously. Uh oh. oh <gasps> it made it. Oh, there you we go. Got it. Lucky. And all I'm doing is holding a button. <laughs> well, only three screens. Only three screens. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Oh, getting close. There we go. Gotta get that one. It. It. Cause it. Dangerous? Oh no. Dead. Nope. Me? Yep. You do one more. Okay. Similar to Bomb on Pixel City. Yeah, th there's a number of games like this um, where you're dropping things from a flying vehicle. There's a, a Santa Claus one as well. Lots, lots like this. You didn't hold it hard enough. That is true. I, I did hold it very lightly. But it is all about the timing of the first shot. Canyon Bomber. Yep. Some old school stuff. No, it doesn't work just by holding it. I de died in the same spot. Well, you start it with the button, and then you have to press the button again. And depending on that exact delay, you might get a different score. And there also is like dead zones on the sides, on the left and right, so it's strategic to at least let up if you're going to go automatic. This makes me think of Space Invaders when it's down to the last invader, except you're the invader. That's true. And they don't fire back. You're the only one with the weapons. But their weapon is to destroy you. 
I mean, it's pretty good for a 2K game. Because if the whole um, binary oh. is... You don't have much time left. There you go. The whole binary is 8K, and there's four games. Each game is 2K. And the most you're going to get out of a 2K game is something like this. Not too much graphics. Simple gameplay. Usually single screen. You have to get very clever. Caffey Man 2D, thank you for resubscribing! 17 months! Woo! Oh, got him. Nice. Lots of time. Nice! What's that? It's like a fish showed up on the side there. <laughs> it's your bomb. <laughs> a gray fish. It was your bomb while well, it uh, repopulated the next screen. It's a little bit of a pause. It like paused the game as soon as you killed it. Killed the last uh, building? Any buildings, I guess? What did it say there? <sighs> blocks. It just says blocks. They're not even buildings. Did you eclipse my score? Yes. Oh, yes, did. I did. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> the heat. Uh -oh, oh, no. Missed every single one of them. Oh, good one. I think the speed is maxed out. I think so too, and I don't think the density of them is changing no. or anything. So he needs to up the speed of the helicopter. Maybe. Yeah, going down or doubling yeah. up even. Something. So it's a little bit faster. Oh, no. She seems to still clear them fairly easily, even at this speed. Well, not <sighs> easily, but you're able to clear them. Dance is interesting. <laughs> should be shooting, um, even though you are aiming for one. Well, so much no, time No, because you want to time it. Yeah. It would be nice if he at least made the screen seem different with different playfield and background colors. Yeah, yeah he could change simple. He could change the blocks, the block colors, yeah. um, and the background. Oh. You, you're dead if you don't shoot him now. <sighs> Almost dead. Gotta get him. Get him all. Um, yeah, that shouldn't take up too much room, because you would have a, um, a constant for the background color, and a constant for the color of the blocks, um, and to just change them you could either do it randomly, which could result in terrible colors, or you can read it from an array, or a list. Um, of approved colors, which I don't think would take up that much programming room. Take up a, a few more commands. You know, you'd have a pointer. Um, start at one, and then it would go, oh, what's the next color? Read the next color. So you could do it. I think you've mastered it. My arm's hurting. <laughs> yeah, you've mastered it. Yes, it does continue repeating. Okay, you're done. No. Okay. 500. 500. Okay. 500. I feel like I should at least get to that high score. But, uh, yes. It's amazing how he wants well, me dead. to end when I'm the one who's getting a high score. Gotta get it. Ooh, you are Close. skirting death now. You're shooting him at the last possible opportunity. Time. Um, nostalgic? Yes. This level just keeps going and going. It's not any faster. Right? No, no faster. So, hopefully he programs in higher speeds. Come on, and, 500! And if, he, and if he does have room, maybe he can put in uh, different colors. So at least that would yeah. change things up a little bit. Tanya, the high score junkie. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew says... Hardly. <laughs> oh, you gotta get it! Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you made 500 and you cleared the level. All right. Oh, Are we done? Um, <laughs> All right. Stop pressing the button. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that one last. <sighs> we're going to do runny nose. Um, this is the fourth game. Uh, about, it'll be about a nose named Mr. Noseson. It has legs. <laughs> Anytime I want. 
<laughs> Aren't you, Davy? <laughs> That's right. Uh, Mr. Noson that has legs and is running around. It is called Runny Nose. He jumps whenever you press fire. So you play last. Mm. I'm mm. playing next. Getting some more wine. Ooh. And I don't. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's a nose. There's the score at the bottom. I mean, this is very straightforward. I don't know why he's got that little block. Is that his wallet? Is that his hand? Looks like a lemon with legs. I think the nose needs to come in a bit more. Oh my god, that was terrible. So you can do long jumps if you hold it, or short jumps. I don't know why you'd ever want to do short jumps, but maybe we'll see. We will see. This why would you want to do short jumps? Maybe you just don't want to and you just gave that option to jump. The good thing about this is the things you're jumping over disappear as soon as they get under you. So if you jump at the very last second, you're pretty much guaranteed to clear it. I mean, you have to give it a... Oh, oh, that's why you might want to do short jumps. Because now it's building up some more. So you're jumping? That's all It's a you're running doing. noise. Nose? A noise. running nose. <laughs> noise. A running nose. Cute. Speaking of noise, we live near a park. Yeah. There's people that like to be in the park. Yeah. And people like to be in the park at night. <laughs> and they even like being in the park even more on the weekends at night. Oh, yeah. Um, but since it's summer, they love it even more in the summer. <laughs> when it's nice and warm at night. So, it's peak time for yahoos. <laughs> right now in the park across from us. It's true, it is, yeah. Peak yahoo time. And every couple nights... Some drama Somebody yeah. practices their yelling. Ugh, at like in the three park. in the morning, yeah. Uh, last night was quite a mystery of what was going on. Yeah. Uh, somebody was running up and down the street, going, like, looking for something, someone, or a dog. We, yeah. Um, they're like, what are they saying? I know you're here, or I know you took them, I called the police. Uh, he's, all... he's in the park. He's, he's in, in the, the park. park. Tony. 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 He was screaming at his friend Tony. Tony needed to help and and get here quick. And they're saying the name of our street and going. They're on Blah Street. Blah Street. They're on Blah Street. I know you took them. <laughs> you took them. And I'm guessing it's a dog because it's like you took them or you took it. It's getting a little faster. Okay, now you need the short jumps. Okay, this is, this is getting hectic. They're fairly spaced apart, though. They're, like, regularly spaced. Little, little differences, but mostly exactly the same. I think I've reached max speed. <laughs> yeah, they're not getting any faster. They're pretty fast, but it needs to go faster. Stop at 200. Okay. 500? Vitoko? 500. <laughs> no, that's hey, I went to 500. <laughs> no, the, game, the other game was a little faster for 500. And a little bit more dynamic. This yeah. is just bounce, bounce, bounce. Well, choo, choo, choo. 200! Yay! And one. There you go. I'm okay if you want to play again. Well, my hand, my play hand hurts. It. Okay. It's only one button. Switch hands. There you go. Uh, gotcha. No collision. Uh, no, I died. I died with collision. I hit it. Smacked it. Nice. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, Kev says, across from park also. Can confirm. Yeah. Uh, did you guys have a lot of fireworks for Canada Day in the park? Well, uh, this Canada Day was... A little bit more solemn. A little solemn. Um, I don't know if anybody in the U.S. saw what was going on in Canada. Um, but bad things. That I probably don't want to talk about in the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, what was that? Craziness. Um, when them overlapped. Um, so our Canada Day was was not so there was crazy. No, there was no celebrations really. There's people weren't really doing 
big things. Um, there are still so, people, so, yeah. like personally, you know, having doing fireworks and, and celebrations. And there stuff. was a couple. There was a few, but usually there's. Uh, yeah, there's... it was a lot less than normal. I think. Yeah. Normally, it's just going, going for days. Yeah, but the whole, a lot of the country agreed not to have crazy, have crazy parties and stuff. Yeah. So there's no nothing big. This is how you wear out a button. It's for button testing. Whoa, that was close. You can stop. <laughs> I'll just wait till it gets really fast. I'll probably die. Um, you didn't have Yahoo setting off fireworks in the park. Um, we had a little bit a of that, little... but it wasn't like it sometimes well, is. Wasn't a f there was no official fireworks. No. Um, I think that's what they were in ref referencing, though, is in the yeah. park. The it Yahoo's in the park. It was just a tiny bit. Very late at night. Going to beat my score, 201. No. Okay. I think I'm already <laughs> tiring, tiring out here. Fireworks are probably quite a bit harder to get to. Um, it's more this restricted, year, probably. but it depends on where you live. Some cities don't allow it, and some sell them legally, and it's. So you drive to those cities and bring them back to your exactly. city. Exactly. But I remember growing up, the city I grew up in. Uh, you didn't see them that often because they weren't legal. But you were close to the U.S. border. No. no. Okay. We are close to the U.S. border. Yeah. Tons of illegal no, fireworks. No, but, but you see that the you see them sold all over the place though. Like for the holidays, Canada Day, they sell them by the side of the road. Yeah. So it's it's legal here to buy them, but. Uh, some of them. Some. Kinds, yeah. Some kinds, most are not. But like some cities do not allow them to be sold at all. Yeah. So it just kind of depends. So this is the third game. The third one is called Yum. It's a simple game. Nice. What you do is open the mouth with the fire button to eat the red and blue candies and close the mouth by not pressing the fire button so you don't eat the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> the game ends if you eat a Brussels sprout or don't eat a candy. So do you want to play this first? Uh, my hands a little sore. You okay. play first. And, uh, I think this one is the funnest of all of them. Lots of local missile fire in my neighborhood for July 4th. Yeah. Missile fire? <laughs> Where do you live? Oh, it's the D train. <laughs> missile fire. New York people drive to Pennsylvania to pick up fireworks and bring them back. Yeah, right. I, I, that tends to be what happens. They don't allow them to be sold, but people kind of bring them. Yeah. I think this one is the most dynamic out of them. Because you have to... You have to really concentrate... And there's timing, and it gets pretty fast. And there's multiple colors too. There's red and green, uh, red and blue, which make green, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of confusing. Red, that red and blue make purple. But... Oh, okay. Oh. So there's not just two colors. I guess the Brussels sprouts just fall on the ground. Oh no! 150. Very nice, unique. Yes, yeah, that's what I thought too. That's why I left it to last. So who, <coughs> so who does not like... <coughs> Excuse me. Diana. I know, inhaled it. <laughs> who does not like Brussels sprouts in the chat? And who likes Brussels sprouts now that they know how to cook them as an adult? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Because, yeah, I had Brussels sprouts as a kid, and sometimes they were not very tasty because well, didn't of we the way they're cooked. Didn't we see something saying about the... People overcook Brussels sprouts. No, but sprouts. the other thing, too, is that the varieties that they grow now oh, that's are right. as sulfurous as the ones that we probably had when we were kids. So they were kind of more smelly and cabbagey, and they're stinky. less like that now. I Brussels remember seeing something about that. Brussels sprouts are literally different now than they were when we were kids. Yeah. 30, 40 years ago. I remember seeing something. Yep, I read an article as well. Yeah. So it's it it is it's also a combination of being cooked to mush. Yeah. Because a lot of people just cooked they everything to mush, all vegetables to mush. Yeah, it's true. Which is not what you want to do. Especially if you had a grandma like mine. Oh. <laughs> um, the best way to cook Brussels sprouts is to dice them. 
What was that? You just chop oh, them up into... Oh, uh, chop them and pan fry them with olive oil. I don't know why we're talking about recipes. Because the Brussels sprouts are in the game. Okay, um... Oh, you beat me. Did I? Yep. Are you getting to get 141? Oh, did I? I thought I 114. Know. Oh, maybe. Salt and butter. My mom showed me a recipe. You take them and you chop them. So you chop them raw, and you pan fry them with cho uh, sorry, um, you slice them, you slice some shallots, pan fry them with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Absolutely delicious. It's almost like having, like, a slaw. Yeah. Very tasty. I mean, it's all, it's all in the olive oil, but super easy, you can do it in a pan. I was like, wow, this is, I, and I, I was never a huge Brussels sprouts fan, like, I do like the baked, you know, when you're having a big meal, but... Yeah. Uh, that recipe was delicious, absolutely delicious. Salt and butter, yeah. Yep. They can be very, very good. Ah, Carl G, I had shaved caramelized Brussels sprouts in my scrambled eggs this morning. Wow. Carl G. <laughs> shaved caramelized... That sounds delicious. <laughs> I almost missed that one. Uh, it was always hard to get past the smell, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're still kind of stinky. But. Yeah. Crosswo says, I've always liked Brussels sprouts. First time I had one was raw, fresh from the garden as a kid. Oh, woo. I think That's I just rough. had some relatives in my family who just liked to grossly overcook vegetables. Probably my British heritage. And then once you learn how to not do that, you realize how much better vegetables are. Yes. But, um... I think a long time ago, it was just the way to cook things, was to just cook them to mush. I don't know. Like, you always see, um... I don't think Those everyone TV did that. shows about <laughs> ancient cooking, you know, like cooking 200, 300 years ago. And they're cooking the meats and the vegetables into just mush. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that has gone away in the past maybe 100 or 50 I don't years. Know. Yeah, maybe. Or they don't cook everything to mush. Happy Man TV, we tried microwavable bag of them. Awful barf. Yeah, that sounds horrible. Oh, <laughs> Microwavable bag. Most I mean, frozen vegetables, some are good, but... Rarely. What's good? What? What microwave vegetable? Uh, it, it, frozen vegetables. Some some of the stir-fry vegetables that are crisper, nope. Nope. they're not so bad, nope. but... I'm nope. thinking of, they're mush. He hates mushy anything. He, you won't eat... Um, you don't like pie, you don't like stewed fruit, you no. don't like crumble or... Like, he's very strange, so... Mushy fruit, that's it. You mushy don't have fruit? To explain it like that, it's just mushy fruit. It's not mushy fruit, it's delicious! Apple crumble, strawberry crumble, strawberry pie, blueberry pie... No, mushy cherry fruit. Cherry pie, I could eat every pie. It's overly sweet and mushy, just like mush. Yeah. I like strawberries fresh, where they're like nice and... Well, I make fresh strawberry mush. pie. You, you don't mind that. Okay, it's maxed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're at 400. Uh, you like fresh strawberry pie, though. I make uh, fresh strawberry yeah, pie. Fresh. That's nice. Yeah. The inside needs to be... Uh, Not mushy. Yeah. 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 No jelly. You're not a jam person. Well, no, you don't mind jam, but it has to be mm. more more like a jelly. It has to be more jelly. More jelly not, than, not bits. than chunky fruit. Or very yeah. small bits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Made it to 400. Yeah. Du, 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 next show, Food Games. Oh, that's not a bad theme. Yeah, not a bad theme at all. The toko, my wife roasted some sweet potatoes and we ate them all. I love sweet potatoes. Some people hate them. Hate they're sweet potato pie. I, I just, I like them because they're a little bit so, less starchy. They're, and, and there sweet. is the compilation. Um, which one, which one did you guys think uh, was the most interesting? Um, I like Yum quite a bit. I think they all need to max out at a much higher speed all of them right yeah because yeah. they need to get harder. you maxed out bomb pilot i maxed out all the rest of them yeah yeah so they need to get harder a little harder a little yeah. faster yeah. or some aspect of them needs to be a little like bomber pilot i don't know if you can make have to like you slow down again but you have to shoot them all twice you know what i mean something like that Ooh, that's a lot of memory too yeah, so, would it be? Okay, yeah, it's double the memory of all the, all the little bits. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. 26 out of tune ness. Dan, 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 dan. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy Man TV, I imagine a band of drunks playing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a trumpet player that plays across in the, in nice. the park that sounds kind of like that. Um, so... Oh, your poll just closed. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. Excellent timing. 47.4%. 
Mostly 2600 homebrew. Nice. Um, so today on the regular show, we're going to be playing some more. Yes. Um, we played My Chick Was Kidnapped by Aliens by Ivan Zurlis. Um, very, very innovative mm. game uh, with the portals. I like it. Yeah. Very, very clever. I can't War wait levels. for him to expand it yeah. past the four or yeah. five. And not, and not getting trapped in walls. <laughs> yeah, he said he may not be able to do that because of the size of the game, but maybe gotcha. somebody can help him out with like... The bouncing off the wall. Or bouncing or something, yeah. Because what you need to do is... Like, bounce off the wall. Ricardo Pam, Yay, thank you so subscribed. much for subscribing. Oh, the pole is on top of that. That's fine. That's all right. <laughs> you can see it. Yeah. Don't have a pole every day. Um, and then press fire, one button collection. Very, oh, very cu cute little games. They're all good. Lovely, yeah. They need to go faster and harder. They just need to get harder, yeah. but they're, they're all good. Yeah. And maybe the stack... No, the stacking starts. Oh, I like the stacking there. one. I want yeah. to go back and do the see if I can do four in a row and just do, 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 do. four, four, do, do, two, do, 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 do. boom, do, 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 do. right to the top because it's ten to the top. Yeah, it is a crazy title. My chick yep. was kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, on his, uh, see his his title there. It says a game of portals, uh, and the, then in the very tiny printing, on the bottom it says my chick was kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> I don't know what the real title is, but nice. it's one of those. So, um, coming up on in a few Zero minutes. Page, <laughs> in, a, in a few minutes, we'll be playing Zookeeper. Yes. And Doggone It. Yes. Like, so stay tuned. Going don't for dis high scores. Don't disconnect. Yep. Because um, we will be right back. Yeah. But um, in, on Friday, it's going to be a noon show uh, with Darcy. Because last week was your turn. Mm. But we didn't do last week, mm -mm. so it's Darcy's here on noon mm -hmm. Pacific time. And we have an exclusive work in progress update of EXO. Very exciting. Very exciting. Um, and we'll also be playing Astro Blaster as well. Um, so EXO is by uh, Muddy Funster. Awesome. Uh, he awesome, has added awesome. a bunch of worlds to it. Cool. Um, so we'll be flying around the caves and solving puzzles and shooting things and it's a fun game and astro blaster is a super fun game by mm -hmm. pac-man plus you're in a f uh for a treat you're in for a treat Wait, with the exo oh, excellent uh, i guess crossbow is one of the beta testers mm -hmm. uh, that makes the game good and playable and bug free better be bug free crossbow <laughs> no. exo is actually i don't think i've really found any bugs in ex in, in um exo when we played it before you guys are my favorite retro channel to watch oh thank you what is that it's olaf lopez olaf lopez it yes blue on black very hard to read yeah. thank you so much darcy <laughs> gets me laughing yeah. i like his humor yeah oh very good he's got a very uh only up to world four is bug free currently uh but energetic energetic, yes, very energetic. Darcy. yeah 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 so we're going to try for some high scores uh, for the 2021 Harmony Games next okay. on Zookeeper and Doggone It. Uh, Zookeeper is not the full game um, because nope. for these games he uses the public versions, oh, the I demo see. versions. So for people so to get high scores. So Zookeeper is a limited uh, levels, high oh, score. So okay. it's four levels. And that's it? Yeah. Uh, Doggone It, he released the whole thing. Oh, wow. So okay. we do get to play the whole thing of Doggone It. So okay. we're going to play Doggone It second okay. and try for Zookeeper first. So you say four levels. And then that's it. That's your score. Like, to the to the first... Well, we'll see. We'll see what it goes to. Like, just one round? Four levels, and then there's the bonus levels, too. Right. And the bonus. Four main zoo levels. Okay. And the bonus, and that's it? And that's it, and that's your score. Oh, okay, right. okay. No, no, that's what I was and trying we've to played, figure out. And we played games like that Yeah. for the Harmony games. It's not well. four full rounds, it's like no, four levels. No, four okay. screens, okay. yeah. That's cool, cool, cool. Um, so we will be back in a couple minutes, yes. like two minutes. I, I don't, I'm going to fill up my water. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> water, it's hot in here, and my water's at one-third, so... Yeah. Um, so we'll give it five minutes. Yeah. So just stick around, listen to the music, and uh, we'll, we'll be, be back, right back with Zookeeper and Doggone It. Thanks for joining us. Yay. Uh, we're going to read out the names. Oh, of the people in the chat? Of the people in the chat. Ooh, even though, even though you're, all, you're all going to stay here, 
<laughs> you're just gonna dark, you're right? gonna listen to a little bit of music for five minutes yeah. so yeah uh the d train nostalgic 26 dan abc carl g crossbow mick muse olaf lopez ricardo pam kefman 2d did i say that nostalgic uh andrew davy rendered ghost vitoko charles wheeland who play who has high scores and i believe both of the oh, okay. games we're gonna play so we have to beat him okay <laughs> I think he has first. I don't know. Uh, it's Kev, 73. Mike Soul. Uh, Lots of people in tonight. Pack That's Rad, awesome. I think I said. RC70. Lots of people tonight. It's awesome. Nostalgic. Did I say that? Who else? Rena Foot. Pack Rat. Oh, Floor2332. FedEx. FedEx. Ivan Sill Games. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for making that awesome. Very fun game very and cool idea all the people who are lurking so no i'm abandoning <laughs> no, no not allowed, not allowed. <laughs> okay so let me um just change the graphics for the show for coming up next there we go um so we will be back very shortly five minutes um actually i should set that as well so we'll be back at 7 21. 19 21. Is that it? Is that right? Four minutes. Oh, let's go 22. Five minutes, 18 seconds. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll be back shortly. Don't go away. Bye bye.